Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to do another Spooky Ghost reaction video. We're back with Doctor of Despair and another video entitled Five Scary Ghost Videos of Entities I Do Not Hide Their Intent. Uh, we'll give it a watch, see if it's any good. Please pop by Depths of Despair's channel and drop them a sub if you wouldn't mind doing so. The link is in the description. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on the video, leaving any feedback in the comments, or if you want to discuss this on any of the other videos, ring the bell and come by when I go live and you can discuss it there and then. And it'd be nice to have a chat about stuff like this. I uh, keep saying it, but I will be back on the live stream soon. Um, still trying to work out timings and things like that, but we'll get there. I've um, got a few spooky games lined up for around Halloween time I want to try and play through. Um, so look forward to doing that if you enjoy the spooky side of it and you want to come by the live streams you'll be able to catch us playing something a bit creepy near Halloween I believe. Uh, in the meantime let's get the cans on, give us a watch and see what it's all about. Show us, I thought it's a good one. The Attic. The attic. In the next video, a man explains that he recently moved into a small wooden house in a very remote village in northern Italy, and after living in the city for so long, he was really looking forward to the peace and quiet and fresh air of this remote location. Unable to resist the wooden house, he purchases it. However, after a few weeks, he began to hear strange noises in the house at night, from time to time, mostly emanating from within the attic from things like thumps, loud bangs and creaks, and sometimes what sounds like something being dragged across the floor. Mind you, the attic had already been thoroughly inspected along with the rest of the house before he moved in. On one night, he hears these creepy sounds, but this time, it wasn't stopping, so he mustered the courage to go and check it out. Take a look. I think, have we seen this one or just one very, very similar? It might just be one very similar. I don't recognise that layout of the house. That could be actually. Yeah, that could be the same one. Suddenly, a chair in the attic violently moves on its own with a lot of force. Completely full of fear, he just drops his phone and runs out of the house. After some time to regain his composure, he quickly retrieves his phone. But, still shaken up by this event, he calls his friend and decides to stay at his house for a few days. He has no clue what resides in the attic, and believes that it is haunted. Yeah, we'll script the adverse. Um, yeah, that last one we have seen before, and it, it's a bit peculiar, I would like to believe, but behind where the chair is, there's like curtains, and there could be just somebody behind there pulling at the chair leg, to be fair, or something. Um, let us know what you guys think in the comments. I think we did say that in one of the last videos last week. We're done. Well, we'll carry on. Hopefully there's some different stuff. Evil Manifestation I featured Rosanna on the channel previously. Rosanna purchased an apartment in France and shortly after moving in, unexplainable things started happening around the house. It turns out she was tricked into buying a haunted house, and now she is not in the position to move out. Recently, she returned after staying at her mum's house for a week when this happened. Again, we've seen the previous instalment of this story. Hopefully we haven't seen this part of it, but it was quite creepy with stuff coming off the poop shelves and things like that. 
What the hell? Anyhow, without it moving. Some items fall on the floor on their own, and the strange doll on the table seems to rotate and face Rosanna wherever she moves. After all the bizarre occurrences going on, Rosanna sometimes wakes up dazed and unable to remember things, so she sets up a camera to monitor herself as she sleeps. The that is pretty creepy. I mean, again, it's the one where there's so much going on. It's like... It's getting a bit hard to believe, but I don't know. Very next Maybe. night, something terrifying is captured. It does sort of look a bit like your fear, which... Again, it's creepy as but... Is it believable? What looks like a demonic face with a horn can be seen. Even more terrifying at one point, she leans up and seems to communicate with it, but the camera picks up no sound and she has no recollection of these events ever happening. But after watching the video, her blood ran cold. Understandably, she has become afraid to sleep in her own home. On the next night, while in her room trying to avoid any activity, she hears what sounds like her cat Lolly making loud noises. So she decides to record and check what's going on. It does... Again, it just seems... like too good. To be true, you know what I mean? It's... I've said before, it's a tricky thing with the paranormal. It's like... If you don't pick up anything, then... It's pointless. But if you pick up stuff like that, people won't believe you anyhow. But, um... Yeah. Let us know what you guys are meeting with. Doesn't end very well. Let's see what happens with the cat. I mean, how would you fake that? Like, I suppose I could have stuck something on the lower part of the door and ducked down, but I don't know. Lolly.
Laisse-moi. Loli Oui, Loli. A dark shadow figure can be seen down the hallway imitating the sounds of her cat, desperately trying to lure her to the most haunted room at the end. As she goes around the corner for a mere second and checks again, the figure is now much closer, prompting her to shut the door, and once again we can see it just watching her through the door. This was without a doubt one of the most terrifying nights of Rosanna's life. After this, she quickly grabbed her stuff and booked a hotel for as long as she is able, as she can't take any more torment. She is also currently undergoing legal procedures against the former owners, and is unable to move out until the process is finished, which may take some time, so until we have a conclusion, this remains a terrifying mystery. That is bloody horrible to be fair. I, just, I got chills and everything at that point, but um, yeah, it's a bit too good, shall we say? There is no what you guys think, but uh, I wouldn't like to be in that situation at all. I mean, the fact that she didn't exactly shut the door or anything either, it's like what? Only at night. From an unknown source, a man from Mexico was living alone when one night he started hearing repeated knocks on his door. After going to check, he saw nobody there. A few days later, he started to notice some strange but subtle occurrences around the house, like objects in a slightly different position to where they were meant to be. These events quickly escalated into something more frightening. Late one night, he hears noises coming from the bathroom and gets his phone out to record. This is what he saw. En el nombre de Jesús te reprendo. Me cubro con la sangre de Cristo. creepy as all well, the way it's moving and stuff but it is coming directly towards him or the possibility of some sort of manipulation going on the shower head in the bathroom appears to be moving quite a lot on its own and after a while he hears knocking coming from the front door and that's when he sees something terrifying <laughs> He hears aggressive knocking on the door, but as he opens it, there's nobody there nor is there any sound of anyone retreating. Instead, he sees a creepy looking figure in the distance just watching him. Now that he has opened the door, he has probably just welcomed it inside, and the activity is bound to get a lot worse. In Indonesia, another woman experiences something similar. Late one night, around 1.20 am, while her husband is working overtime, she is abruptly woken up to some aggressive knocking on her door. She thought it might be her husband because he likes to be mischievous, so she decides to record it when she captures something chilling. Watch closely. Oh. 
Loud repeated knocking can be heard at the front door, but when she opens it, there's no one there. Even creepier is that the house is surrounded by a secure fence, so someone wouldn't be able to get in so easily, nor run away and hide out of view. A few nights later while she is asleep, her husband hears a strange noise in the house around 3am and goes to check it out. That is pretty creepy, the little knocking thing, like. It's quite handy how these guys all have the phones ready. Or is it just me being cynical? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the bloody phones are potatoes, or I can't see a bloody thing. Step on my ears. One of them above. What sounds like someone splashing water in the bath amidst the darkness can be heard. The noise quickly stops as he opens the door, and he doesn't see anyone there, but as soon as he closes it, the sounds continue. Creeped out, he returns upstairs and waits till morning, before daring to go inside. Real ghost or not, you judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. Or tag us on TikTok and Depths of Despair YT. That was pretty creepy, that one, to be fair. And again, I think it was more stuff you didn't see that made it creepier, to be honest. But, um. Yeah, that does some shadow. Or. Oh, figure that the first guy spotted. Looked a bit creepy. I didn't seem to have a head unless it was just sort of ducked out and that was weird. What do you guys think? Morph. Is this the guy of Tony Hart? The following video was taken by security camera on August 22nd of 2024 by a man named Mario who lives in a secluded area by the woods. It's around 4.30 a.m when Mario receives a motion detection alert telling him there's something moving in the yard. After reviewing the footage he noticed something strange so he recorded it. Take a look. Bola de luz se transforma en dos niños. Pero no se graba muy bien, luego después sale como un señor, mira. Se para ahí y como que se convierte en un señor, mira. Y se queda ahí, ahí todavía está corriendo el, el reloj de, de la cámara, se está grabando, mira, se mira como dos cabezas, pues dos personas se mira ahí, atravesadas a la misma vez, que tienen como una lámpara, a lo mejor, a lo mejor es una pareja, pero no sé, ahí se empieza a mover y la cámara ya no lo graba muy bien, pero ahí se, ahí se mira que se está yendo por aquí. What looks like a ball of light can be seen before it appears to morph into two young looking kids who just stand there strangely for a few moments looking in one direction at 4.30 a.m. before moving and disappearing. Some people believe this is due to poor camera quality but then others believe that this is some sort of shape-shifting entity because just what would two boys be doing out in a secluded area by the woods at 4.30 a.m just standing there. Either way, that is strange. In another video... And it is mad how they just sort of materialise and then fade back out again. It's... It could be crap quality cameras, but it just seemed odd that in that split second, it just seemed to appear and then disappear again. 
Mad. A family was home late in the evening when suddenly they heard some bells go off on their front door handle, suggesting that someone was on the other side trying to get in. So they answered the door and captured this. What sounds like the door handle being pulled out of nowhere can be heard, as if someone or something was clearly trying to enter the house. However, the front doorbell camera shows nobody there. They had hung the bells up specifically to ward off any uninvited entities, and was told that it would protect their house. A bit like the TV series called From, where they hang up talismans on the front door to ward off the demons from entering. In this case, it seemed I need to watch that, actually. like it may have served its intended purpose. Just who or what was trying to open the door? Could it be something like what was seen in the previous video? Let me know. That's... I don't know, it just seemed to be odd. I think the, the camera seemed to be too high on the door to actually see what was going on. But there didn't appear to be anything there. And it sort of growled when I tried the handle was I don't know, what do you guys make of it? Followed. Late one night a man named Matias was on his way home walking down the street somewhere in Rosario, Argentina, when he noticed something bizarre and decided to record it. Watch closely. <laughs> ¿Lo ven? Acá, acá. Ahí en el medio. Hay ¿Eh? como una figura oscura. Me llamó muchísimo la atención de la cuadra anterior que lo vea. A ver, vamos a acercar. Mi casa está acá a la vuelta. ¿Eh? No hay nada. No sé. While walking home, he sees a strange shadow figure appear for a second before fading away. And as he goes up to the tree to take a look, a disembodied scream is heard. Not thinking much of it, he goes home and continues his evening. It was a bit of a camera glitch or whatever. Well, the scream was pretty terrifying. Man. But the very next night, he starts to hear strange noises coming from outside his house. Estoy sintiendo, estoy sintiendo hace un rato ruido acá atrás y no sé si, no sé qué mierda es. O oh, esto es re oscuro. Hey, hola. Hey. Concha de tu madre. Okay. ¿Qué carajo es eso? Ah, una sombra y uff, veo cosas por todos lados. Este es un cuarto, una casa, la casa de acá atrás es como un cuarto de que guardamos cosas, pero estoy sintiendo como un golpeteo. Bueno, no, nada. Ey, 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 puta madre. Todo el tiempo ruido, todo el tiempo ruido. No, 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 no. no. He hears an unknown voice which startles him, so he decides to just open the door and go back inside. But it seems like whatever this thing is may have followed him through the door, because later in the night he starts hearing creepy sounds, this time inside the house. Se escucha el ruido, acá está la habitación de mi hija. No, what you want to hear, right? Hey. Me se siente re fría esta habitación. Qué carajo.
I really think I got into a place. Concha de tu madre, concha de tu madre. Otra vez, ¿eh? Uy, acá adentro. Paranormal events start happening inside the house, but the only thing he finds is the strange doll inside the cupboard. Matthias lives alone and explains that his daughter actually lives away with her mother. Maybe that's why he wants to occupy the empty room. After a little while the power suddenly goes out in the house and he starts to hear chilling sounds once again. It, it did start off pretty creepy until the crying started. But I don't know, that just seems a bit, again, too much. But the initial grumbling and sort of breathing and stuff was pretty terrifying to be bad. Is that vibrating noise just being added in, or is that what's actually recording? That's mad, that. The strange sounds seem to be mostly emanating from within the closet, but the only thing inside is this creepy little toy. A few nights later, this happens. Oh, that is pretty creepy with his mind. But is it believable? It, it's like so much... I don't know, I'm not a good film this. Otra vez ruido en la, en la pieza de mi hija. Podrido de, la, de los sonidos, los ruidos, paren un poco, viejo, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Lo comen, chicos? Yo había apagado la luz ahí. Oh, esto me da muchísimo miedo. The door handle starts rattling before the door completely opens and slams shut by itself. Terrified. I thought the door was done and somebody was hiding around the side, but the handle seems to still be down there, even though there isn't seen much room behind it. Matthias doesn't dare to enter the room and decides to leave the house for... I thought it was convenient even sort of hiding that side so people would get past, but the handle's still down at this point. ...the night, but as he goes outside, something catches his attention. Otra vez, otra vez, lo ruido en el patio, otra vez. Yo no sé si... Esa es Sansa, pero... Esa es mi perra, tiene un cono, pero... A veces escucha algo raro, ¿eh? 
A hiss can be heard and a dark figure manifests out of nowhere, which seems to resemble what he saw a few nights ago by the tree. He believes something has somehow attached itself to him and followed him home. But until we get some more answers, this remains a mystery. Subscribe and hit that bell icon. To there you go, guys. Pop by Jeff's channel and drop me a sub. I'm very grateful. That was horrible, to be fair. Believable, not sure. But terrifying, nonetheless. Let us know what you guys make of it. There's quite a bit to unpack there, actually. Um, there was a few. Now, that, the girl in the apartment seems to be getting worse and worse. That, with the head thing spinning around, following her around the room and stuff. I don't know about that. Like, but um, that last one. Other than the crying noises, I was sort of with them until around that point. But again, let us know what you guys think. If you wanna have a chat in the comments. Feel free to do so, we'll get back to you. And if you ring the bell on the channel, you'll see when new videos go live, or if I actually do a live stream, um, you'll be able to catch up with us and have a chat about them then. As I said, I've got some sort of scary games lined up on the way up to Halloween, so we'll, we'll try and have some fun with that. In the meantime, appreciate you coming by, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.